Do you or someone you know snore? Have you wondered how it affects your sleep? Snoring, that all too familiar sound is more than just a nighttime nuisance. It's the sound of air struggling to squeeze through your narrowed airways as you sleep. Snoring is common, but it's not always harmless. For some, it's a sign of a serious condition called sleep apnea, which can lead to chronic fatigue, cardiovascular issues, and other health problems. For others, it's a disruptive force that can ruin a good night's sleep for both the snorer and anyone who shares their bed. But don't fret, there's hope. There are many ways to reduce or even eliminate snoring, from lifestyle changes to practical solutions and medical interventions. Understanding why we snore is the first step towards a quieter, more restful night. Stay tuned as we delve into the various ways to combat snoring. To tackle snoring, it's essential to first understand its causes. Snoring can have different roots and getting to the heart of what's causing your nighttime symphony can help you find the right solution. Let's start with alcohol consumption. Many of us enjoy a glass of wine or a pint of beer before bed, seeing it as a way to wind down. However, alcohol relaxes the muscles in the throat, which can narrow the airway and lead to snoring. It's the same reason why sedatives and some medications can also cause this nocturnal nuisance. Next, let's talk about obesity. Excess weight, especially around the neck, puts pressure on the airway, causing it to narrow. This can result in disrupted airflow, causing the soft tissues in the throat to vibrate. And voila, you have snoring. Then there's the matter of sleep position. If you're a back sleeper, gravity can work against you by pulling the tongue and soft tissues in the throat downwards, obstructing the airway and causing snoring. Side sleeping, on the other hand, helps keep the airway open. Lastly, nasal problems like a deviated septum, nasal polyps, or chronic congestion can obstruct the nasal airway, forcing you to breathe through your mouth while you sleep. This alters the airflow, again leading to that all-too-familiar snoring sound. It's also worth mentioning that age plays a role too. As we get older, our throat becomes narrower, and the muscle tone in our throat decreases, both of which can contribute to snoring. In addition, men are more likely to snore than women. This is because men have narrower air passages than women, making them more prone to snoring. Now, it's important to remember that these are common causes, but not the only ones. If your snoring is persistent, it's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional to rule out any underlying conditions like sleep apnea. Now that we understand the causes, let's explore the solutions. Sometimes simple lifestyle changes can make a significant difference in reducing snoring. Let's explore some of these modifications that can lead to quieter nights and better sleep. Firstly, weight loss is a powerful tool in the fight against snoring. Excess weight, especially around the neck, can place pressure on your airway, leading to the vibrations we recognize as snoring. By adopting a balanced diet and regular exercise routine, you can shed those extra pounds and potentially alleviate your nighttime noise. Next up is alcohol. While a nightcap might seem like a good way to wind down, it can actually exacerbate snoring. Alcohol is a muscle relaxant, which means it can cause the muscles in your throat to slacken during sleep, increasing the risk of snoring. Try to avoid alcohol for at least three hours before bedtime, and you may notice a significant reduction in snoring. Now let's talk about smoking. It's no secret that smoking is harmful to your health, but did you know it can also contribute to snoring? Smoke irritates and inflames the throat and nasal passages, narrowing your airway and making snoring more likely. If you're a smoker who snores, quitting could be a game-changer for you and your bed partner. And finally, a consistent sleep routine can be a snorer's best friend. Going to bed and waking up at the same time every day can help regulate your body's natural sleep-wake cycle, reducing the likelihood of snoring. These lifestyle changes can be challenging to implement, but the payoff is worth it. Not only can they help reduce snoring, but they also promote overall health and well-being. Remember, small steps can lead to big changes, but lifestyle changes are just the beginning. Let's look at some more targeted solutions. There are several practical solutions that can help manage snoring. Now let's delve into some of these practical solutions. One of the first things you can do is adjust your sleep position. If you're a back sleeper, the chances are high that you're also a snorer. This is because lying on your back can cause the tongue to fall back into the throat, blocking the airway and causing those infamous snoring sounds. Try switching to sleeping on your side. This simple change can greatly reduce snoring and improve your sleep quality. Next, consider using an anti-snoring device. There's a wide variety out there from mouth guards to CPAP machines and nasal strips. 
CPAP machines, for example, work by using mild air pressure to keep breathing airways open while you sleep, but we'll touch on that more later. Nasal strips, on the other hand, are adhesive strips placed on the nose to widen nostrils and increase airflow. It's best to consult with a healthcare provider to find out which device is most suitable for you. Another practical solution is to create a sleep-friendly environment. This means keeping your bedroom cool, dark, and quiet. You might be surprised to learn that even the smallest amount of light or noise can disrupt your sleep and trigger snoring. Also consider investing in a good quality mattress and pillow. These can provide the right amount of support and alignment for your neck and spine, thereby reducing the risk of snoring. Lastly, maintaining a regular sleep schedule can also help. Going to bed and waking up at the same time every day can regulate your internal body clock and promote better sleep, and better sleep often means less snoring. So, there you have it. A few practical solutions that you can try at home to help manage your snoring. Remember, while these methods can certainly help, they may not work for everyone. However, in some cases, you might need to seek medical help. If your snoring is severe, or if it's accompanied by other symptoms like gasping for air during sleep, it's important to consult a healthcare professional. They can provide a proper diagnosis and recommend the best treatment options for you. If lifestyle changes and practical solutions don't help, it might be time to consider medical intervention. So let's delve into the world of medical interventions for snoring. These treatments are typically considered when snoring is severe or associated with a condition known as sleep apnea, where breathing repeatedly stops and starts during sleep. First up, we have oral appliances. These are custom-made devices that you wear while you sleep. They work by shifting and supporting the jaw to help maintain an open upper airway, reducing the likelihood of snoring. They're kind of like mouth guards worn by athletes, but they're designed specifically to combat snoring and sleep apnea. Next, there's the Continuous Positive Airway Pressure Machine, or CPAP for short. This is a device that delivers a constant flow of air through a mask worn over the nose or mouth. The gentle pressure keeps the airways open, preventing snoring and treating sleep apnea. While it might seem a little intimidating at first, many users report improved sleep quality and reduced daytime sleepiness. Then we have the option of surgeries. There are a variety of procedures available, each targeting different causes of snoring. For instance, uvulopalatopharyngoplasty, or UPPP, is a surgery that removes excess tissue in the throat to make the airway wider. Similarly, the pillar procedure involves placing small plastic implants into the soft palate to stiffen it and reduce snoring. There's also a newer, less invasive option called hypoglossal nerve stimulation. This involves implanting a small device under the skin in your chest. The device monitors your breathing during sleep and stimulates the nerve that controls the tongue, preventing it from blocking the airway. It's important to note that these medical interventions are not without risks and potential side effects. They should be considered only after consultation with a healthcare professional who can guide you through the process, tailoring the treatment to your specific needs and circumstances. Remember, always consult with a healthcare professional before deciding on any medical intervention. After all, the goal is to ensure that you're not just sleeping soundly, but also healthily. So, we've covered a lot about snoring and how to tackle it. We started with a basic understanding of what snoring is and its causes, shedding light on how the airway obstruction during sleep leads to those infamous nocturnal noises. We then moved on to lifestyle changes, emphasizing the significance of maintaining a healthy weight, avoiding alcohol before bed, and establishing regular sleep patterns. We further delved into practical solutions that can be implemented right at home, such as sleeping on your side, using specially designed pillows, or even trying out anti-snoring mouth appliances. Lastly, we touched upon medical interventions, highlighting the role of CPAP devices and surgical options when all else fails. Remember, everyone's snoring situation is unique, so it might take a bit of trial and error to find what works best for you, but don't lose hope. With these tips, you or your loved ones can look forward to quieter nights and better sleep. We hope you found these tips helpful. Remember, subscribing to our channel ensures you won't miss out on our wealth of health-related videos. The content of this video is for informational purposes only and is not intended to be used as a substitute for professional medical diagnosis, advice, or treatment.